Have you ever wondered why some individuals seem to have an unshakable sense of discipline while others struggle to stay on course? What's their secret? It's not magic, nor is it an innate talent that only a few are blessed with. The answer lies in the power of self-control. Self-control, a core virtue, is the silent force that fuels our ability to achieve goals, manage emotions, and make sound decisions. It's the master key that unlocks the door to a fulfilling life. No matter the storms that life brews, individuals with a strong sense of self-control stand firm, their resolve unbroken. They see beyond immediate gratifications, focusing on long-term rewards and the bigger picture. They understand that emotions, while powerful, should not dictate actions. They make decisions not based on fleeting feelings, but on well-thought-out strategies. Self-control is not just an attribute, it's a core virtue that shapes our lives. Discipline doesn't just happen, it requires consistent effort and dedication. And that's where the beauty of discipline lies. It's not a trait you're born with, or one that suddenly emerges one fine day. Rather, it's a skill that you consciously develop and refine over time. It's like a muscle that strengthens with consistent practice and effort. Think of it this way. A pianist doesn't perform a concerto flawlessly on their first day. They practice scales, chords, and arpeggios over and over day after day until their fingers move with grace and precision. Similarly, discipline is built by consistently choosing to take the high road, even when the low road is tempting. It's about making decisions today that your future self will thank you for. There are numerous strategies and exercises that can help cultivate discipline, such as setting clear goals, creating routines, and practicing mindfulness. These tools can be immensely helpful in strengthening your discipline muscle. Remember, discipline is a skill, and like any skill, it needs to be honed. Immediate pleasure or long-term success, your choice defines your discipline. The art of delaying gratification is a subtle yet powerful practice. It's the ability to resist the siren call of immediate pleasure in favor of the distant song of future success. It's about making choices today, not for the you in the present, but for the you in the future. Imagine a seed, an impulsive hand might crack it open, seeking immediate satisfaction. But the disciplined hand knows the real treasure lies, not in the seed, but in the potential tree it can become. That's delayed gratification. It's about planting seeds today for a harvest tomorrow. This philosophy isn't about denying pleasure, but about prioritizing. It's about choosing a greater satisfaction over a fleeting one. It's about deciding to invest in your future self, betting on your potential and embracing the journey. Delayed gratification is a test of discipline, and those who master it, master their destiny. Discomfort isn't always a bad thing, it can be the catalyst for your growth. This is a truth that is often overlooked. Discomfort, in its various forms, is a part of life, but instead of shying away from it, what if we embraced it? What if we saw each challenge, each hurdle, as an opportunity to grow stronger, to develop our self-control? Imagine a world where discomfort is not feared, but welcomed as a teacher. A world where every setback is merely a stepping stone, leading us to become better versions of ourselves. This is the world of the disciplined mind. Faced with adversity, it does not crumble, it perseveres, it learns, it evolves. So next time, when you're faced with a difficult situation, remember that it's an opportunity to grow. It's a chance to test your mettle, to exercise your self-control. Because remember, it is in the furnace of adversity that we are truly tested. Embrace discomfort, for it is the crucible in which the steel of self-control is forged. Self-control is not a destination, it's a journey. It's a perpetual voyage, an ongoing endeavor that demands persistence, patience, and a dash of self-compassion. It's about understanding that we're human, prone to stumble and falter, but always capable of rising and pressing on. This journey isn't about being perfect, it's about striving for betterment, about learning from our missteps and using them as stepping stones to reach greater heights. It's a constant dance of trial and error, of introspection and growth. On this road, we learn to be patient with ourselves, to extend the same kindness and understanding to ourselves that we so readily offer to others. It's about acknowledging our struggles, but not letting them define us. And remember, it's not about speed. The tortoise taught us that slow and steady wins the race. So let's take our time, absorb the lessons, and persistently move forward. Remember, the path to self-control is a journey, not a race. So take your time, learn, grow, and keep moving forward.